Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play Echocalypse Scarlet Covenant on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Echocalypse Scarlet Covenant and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Echocalypse Scarlet Covenant. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else my friends, to get started we need to launch our main web browser. We open the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to this URL that I have highlighted in green color. There you are seeing it on the PC screen. There is no need to type the URL, because I added a clickable link in the description of this video and as well in the first main comment. We ended up on this page on our own website of Usatility, where we find here a meticulous outline on the best way to obtain Echocalypse Scarlet Covenant on personal computer. We browse lower a tad and simply click on the download game on PC button. Once we click on the link, we arrive here on the site of Bluestacks. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we will launch to play Echocalypse Scarlet Covenant on the PC. It is now obvious that we have a number of pros of preferring using that emulator. So we are on the way to proceed to download the Echocalypse Scarlet Covenant by clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that you can see here in green color. We then click on that button. Of course, the download step starts and ends immediately. Voila! Here is located the download. It's an executable file. The following step is to launch the executable file, so we click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to allow changes to the laptop or device. We answered yes. I reduced the web browser to start to see the installer significantly better. The installation software is quite simple. It includes two choices, install and setup path. I am going to talk about what setup path truly does. We only click on it. And therefore we realize that we display here the path where in fact the emulator can be set up. If we prefer to vary this directory we are required to click on this, browse, option, and we opt for another directory and set up the emulator where we choose. To keep it simple, just keep it where it is. I simply click back, therefore I pick install. Fantastic! The install begins and it is going to continue in the download of those megabytes that happens to be visible on this screen. At the time you save it on your hard drive, it is likely to be more or less MB. The data transfer rate will go faster or at a lower speed, subject to your internet and according to the performance of the emulator hosting servers. Today they are going extremely fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate eco mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this time, the emulator has actually been started instantly. As you can see now, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar that will move forward to the right when it comes to the ending, the emulator will be started for the first time. Indeed, the emulator is already launched, here for the first time. Before we carry on, as you can discover, it has made a couple of software icons right here on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon is definitely the only one we are focused on. When we want to launch Echocalypse Scarlet Covenant on the laptop or computer, we double-click on that icon and use the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let me make the next phase, that is a requirement, and which is to visit the Google Play Store. To do this we will go there to, System Apps, we click on. And we are going to mouse click on Play Store. As you can view the Google Play is presented. At this point we need to log on. Presently the moment we are on this page, we have to execute the next phase that is compulsory. So we click on, sign in. At present it announces, checking info. It might from time to time get blocked in, checking info, and so it does not proceed. In this case, you should try to connect to your account after a couple of hours it's going to probably be corrected. At present we can type in our email and password. The email address really needs to be a Gmail email as well as its matching password. For example you make use of the same email address you are using at the moment in your own YouTube account. So that I am going to provide my info and I will go back after I have accomplished it. That's all, information inserted. 
Below is Google welcoming us and supplying us the twos. We must approve them by clicking, I agree. Then, it allow us to back up to the Google Cloud. You could let it selected and it will generate a backup of your data on this device to Google Drive. I will not select it. You can make use of this option if you want. We click accept. Google Play, formerly Android Market, is started without need to open it manually and instantly. To set up the app, we would need to go to the emulator desktop for Android by simply clicking the app icon marked green colored. Currently that we are exploring the desktop of that emulator, we can see that we come with there the install game option. We click or double click on that button. At this point we come with the video game. How about we press here on the install choice that I am just highlighting now in green. This will launch the setup. Presently it would install the game. It typically takes a little while or it could be amazingly quickly. It all is determined on our own internet access. This has just completed installing. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on the following button that I am showing in green. If you want to use Echocalypse Scarlet Covenant for the first time. We're already on the emulator desktop, and then we are on the way to just click on the fresh Echocalypse Scarlet Covenant app icon which has been generated. Your Android game is launched for the first time. Now there we end up with it. I can mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to talk about the volume level of that emulator. It is right here. We have got the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume. This manner we are not going to depend on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of the emulator. As well as to appreciate the experience to the greatest, we could switch on the large monitor, for which we have two alternatives. That is simply the first one. We just click on this particular software icon that I'm showing in green color. Then the display screen is maximized, offering one border on top, one at the right and the third one at the bottom. In case that we like to launch the video game using all the screen, we hit that icon. And we'd presently be experiencing and enjoying the video game in 100% screen setting. To stop the complete screen mode, just click the F11 key. And we'd now play in normal display screen setting. From now, I am on the way to clarify you the computer keyboard mapping that is really very cool. That strategy we will be able to operate the game a lot more effortlessly. The very first thing is to mouse click this app icon. It's now time to complete the required controls. I can leave the normal settings, though if you wish to change this, you can do so without any problem. As you can notice, the emulator is fully in our language. Occasionally it occurs that the emulator is presented in the erroneous language, for instance, in Chinese. And so to set it up in the appropriate language we browse here to the cogwheel. And thus right here inside of additional controls, we just click on the language drop down. We can go with the language we prefer, English, Mandarin, etc. As soon as the language is chosen, we could save, the emulator will reboot, along with the game app, next time we launch it, will as well be in the preferred language. So now, you will find another point that we will need to take into consideration, and it's that we will receive an email reporting that a brand new device has been connected to our own Google account. It will check with us if we're the individuals who have associated with that electronic device. Indeed, we must not get worried, because the emulator is behaving like a Google Android device. And in order to determine which electronic device is currently being emulated, we return here, to the cogwheel and we mouse click on it. Let's browse here to the, model, selection. And now we learn that the emulator is acting as a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys, so much for this video user demo. I anticipate you appreciated it, especially that everyone thought it was useful. If that's sir, give it a superb like, subscribe, and any feedback, requests or ideas, leave them in the comment field down below. Check out any of these instructional videos that happens to be appearing on the screen and see you in the next videos. Bye.